Posted with the poster We ain't so long we ready, uh -huh. Ready, uh -huh. Ready, uh -huh. ready, uh -huh. Posted with the poster We ain't so long we ready, uh -huh. Ready, uh -huh. From the streets to the television We keep it going, ain't no intermission From the streets to the television Know we poppin', just name a topic. Post it up like a palm tree in the tropic. Rozzy on the beat, make you wanna come and see. Mo to the C, radio to TV. You know she puttin' in work like she clocked in. Celebrity guest, never guess who gon' drop in. Television's best, like a S on the chest. Who's next? Say less, cause you rockin' with, you rockin' with the best. Yeah, It's your girl Mo Clark with the post up coming to you live on Status Network Global Vision TV. Was I here last week? Yes, I was here last week because I was here with Brooklyn and baby. Me and Miss Brooklyn, we was getting to the T. Me and Miss Brooklyn still been getting to the T. And that's just what it is. That's just what we do. So, welcome to the post-up. Um, I am super excited. I got my homegirl, friend of the Johnny Cabell Show, brand ambassador for Micah J, Glitz and Glam's Lux Mirage, whatever I go by these days, which is pretty much all of those things. Shamika Chappelle, she is joining me today. Now, I know I promised you guys Yoshi was coming, and she does not look like Yoshi, but she is still cute. Okay? Fabulous. Fabulous. She is still cute. Yoshi could not make it tonight, but hopefully we're going to see Yoshi at some point in time uh, this month, this year. I don't know. We got to check. He is a busy guy. I call him Bob the Builder, so he is a busy guy. So hopefully we are going to get in touch with Yoshi, and he's going to be on the show. But for now, Shamika is going to join me and sit in with me. Of course, you know I got some tea. You guys know I got moments with Mo, and we finna get into that. It's been such a busy week. I... I who child, listen. I be trying to get the stories to y'all, honey, but this is only an hour, an hour-long show. So, let's go into Moments with Mo. Ooh, I thought I had enough time to drink my chocolate water. No, you don't have time. I, I, I did. I had enough time. I can't show show my chocolate water because they don't pay me to show my chocolate water. Okay, so we got moments with Mo. We're going to get into these stories. I'm going to let Shamika wait in. All right. Here we go. Uh, Mercedes Moore. Um, Cardi B uses her platform to discuss Mercedes Moore. Now, if you haven't been following this story, Mercedes uh, Moore, I believe her name, her real name is J Janae um, Jayan, something like that, Granger. She's a, a popular IG model out of Houston, Texas. Now, I've been getting conflicting information on this young lady. I'm not sure if she was a, a stripper, an ex-stripper. Uh, I know she's an IG model for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I'm seeing that she also uh, was producing and generating content on OnlyFans as well. And mm. she was, of course, generating the content before they were going back and forth about the no porn thing. So I'm not subscribed to her channel, nor do I have OnlyFans. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have OnlyFans. I don't, I don't know either. if she uh, was putting out porn, but. She's 33, 
Uh, she was 33. She was found strangled in her home. Now, they are stating that this story is a murder-suicide. Now, initially, um, when the story got out, they weren't really given a lot of detail about it because apparently there was another person in the house with her. There was a man. Um, I believe his name was Kevin. I want to say his name was Kevin or something like that. Um, he was in there as well. Now, they're stating that Kevin... The reason why they think it's a murder-suicide is because they found his body, um, and they're just saying he had multiple sharp wounds. So I think, I, I'm assuming he stabbed himself to death. That's a horrible way to take yourself out. It, it really is. It really is. They didn't say slit his wrist. But did you see some of the writing that was up on a door? I, okay, so they're saying that, that's what I'm saying. The story is so conflicting because they, they keep putting stuff out there. Um, but first they said her parents, well, they said somebody sent the cops over to do a welfare check on mm -hmm. her. But now they're saying that her dad actually went over to the apartment and he found the body and he wow. found the writing and stuff on the wall and all of these wow. things. Wow. So, this, uh, you know, when the, the story first broke, they were saying that she was a victim of robbery. That it was a box robbery that had gone back. Mm. They weren't even saying that she was found in her home. So she was found in her apartment. So her sister took to social media to say, you know, no, this was not a robbery. Uh, my sister was killed by her stalker. So this is insane. Between the story I reported to you guys last week with the young lady in Atlanta who um, she was kidnapped outside of her boyfriend's home to this story and them saying that this young lady was killed by her stalker. Now, how Cardi B, which is insane because the bloggers are putting the bloggers and the blog rooms and all of that, um, their headline is Cardi B has been invited to go to Mercedes' funeral. Mm. Because she stood up for the situation. So, I guess there's a bit of backlash because the young lady uh, was producing OnlyFans content and stuff like that. And it's kind of, you know, that age-old story how, you know, we were, we were, we were taught that if we dress a certain way and we end up raped, we were asking for it. Or we put it out there or whatever the case may be. So, it's kind of the same situation here. They're saying because she was an OnlyFans model or, or a content creator that this is what caused this situation. But you... You don't have to be an OnlyFans or anything for this type of situation to happen. Right. You know, it's regular, ordinary people that are out here every day going through this same situation. Absolutely. You know, you have some jilted lovers um, that are killing their ex-lovers, mm -hmm. you know, when they want to walk away or no longer wants to be in the relationship. Like you say, you do have some stalkers that are out here. So, you know, you just cannot stereotype. I agree. And say that because she was putting out porn or whatever, oh, whatever. hey, she brought yeah. this on herself when yeah. it's happening every day to different people that's not even on an OnlyFans site, not a model or anything else. So let me ask you a question. Do you think it was weird for her family to invite Cardi B to the memorial services just because she... Because I, I mean, they you were know... Saying that, that, you know, the attention was getting taken off of Mercedes and placed more so on her killer. And and when Cardi B stepped in, it was like, hey, y'all, it don't, I don't care what she do, it don't matter, she didn't deserve this, which that's accurate. She still didn't deserve to, you know. Absolutely agree, she did not but deserve it. I, you know, that, to me, that just resonates with the fact that a lot of times we see people on social media and we think that they have this type of lifestyle because of the content, because I'm just trying to figure out you know, when you're posting OnlyFans content mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be and you're doing this type of stuff, like, how was it so easy for him to find her like that? I believe this was somebody that probably already knew her. No. He, he didn't know her? He was just a fan? He was just a fan, they're saying. Well, he well I up. guess he was on OnlyFans page. You know, I have, he he about, he I have heard about... I have heard about... Home address. Now, that's a good question. Home. That's that's a very good question. So, you know. Mm. Mm. 
Inquiring minds want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. So our thoughts and prayers are definitely um, with the friends and family of Mercedes. Uh, she has popular people following her. Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Tori Lane. She has a list of celebrities. Her page had over 2 million followers. Um, it's unfortunate that her life has come to an end at such mm -hmm. a young age. So our thoughts and prayers are definitely um, with her family. So Most definitely. Who's next, JoJo? All Yay, right, Kanye. my God, Kanye, for <laughs> Sheezy, my Neezy. All right, so Kanye West dropped Donda. Uh, was it this week? No, it was Sunday, right? I it, think he, he, he dropped it Sunday. Well, we know it dropped. <laughs> Listen, it's a lot going on with this album. Kanye, the, the, okay, the album has 27 songs. So people were talking about how he did, you know, the two listening parties in Atlanta. He did the listening party in Chicago. The one he did in Chicago, they said he had his childhood home or replica of the home put on, you know, the stage or whatever, and he set it on fire. He also had Kim K come out in a wedding dress. And they're saying that he is saying they're getting back together. Mm. Now, I'm going to tell you this. A lot of people are, you know, have mixed feelings about the Donda album, which has 27 tracks on it. And some of the tracks are, you know, duplicates. He's got Jail with, um, he's got Jail Part 1 with mm -hmm. Jay-Z, which I love. He's got Jail Part 2 with The Baby and Marilyn Manson. Now, I've listened to both versions. I know that the baby is supposed to be canceled by the whoever, everybody at this point. But I will not take away from the baby that lyrically he spit fire. Like he yes. just does. Like yes. let's just yes, call a spade a spade. We we all done been through our trials and tribulations with R. Kelly, but R. Kelly is still a musical genius. Please stop acting like we didn't like his songs. Before I, and I after still, the I still listen to him. I got, it. I have his music downloaded on my. You iTunes. see what I'm saying? So you know, the baby can... on jail part two, he was, he was flowing nice. I don't know what the hell Marilyn Manson was doing. I'm really not sure how he ended up on the track, mm. but hey, it is what it is. Why I mean, that, that's just what it now? is. And I promise you guys, I'm going to tell you my, my top. 10 favorite songs, but I think it's going to end up being more than 10. And for the people that are saying that the album is trash, that is totally, uh, totally your opinion. But I think it's some things that people can't relate to. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't understand. They, I think people still want him to be doing all that rah-rah and all that cussing and this, that, and the third and the other. And it's just a lot. I do not think Kanye, uh, Kanye is crazy. I do not think he is mental. Um, I do not think everything in his marriage was his fault. I saw a blog report that uh, Hurricane which I think is either track number three or four on the mm -hmm. Dunda album. They're saying that he admitted to cheating on Kim Kardashian, which was crazy because when I heard his verse, that's not that's not what I took away from it. Like, I took away from it how people always making rumors up and saying certain and, and talking about things that they don't understand. You know, like, she filed the divorce, right? We saw that in the right, She right. filed the divorce, and then she was on the show crying, talking about she tired of being at home by herself, da 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 Okay, so that's what we saw coming from her. How do we know there was not a situation where he got tired of being at the house with her because of something she was doing? Well, we do know... Um when he was on his spirit, when he was on his spiritual journey, he got to a point at one time he did not want her dressing a certain type of way. Right. Um, anytime you're dealing with anybody in the music industry, because I have dealt with some people in the industry, right. we know it's times they're going to be home, times they're not. Uh, if you have somebody fate for this old good and well, but I haven't seen anyone yet. I'm hoping somebody can prove me wrong. But, <laughs> but uh, you know, people have to realize Kanye went through a serious phase after losing his mother. Absolutely. I haven't lost mine yet, but my niece lost my sister. And uh, I know I lost a daughter. And to lose... 
people that close, but that's a mother, someone that carried you, someone that nursed you, someone gave birth to you. You know, um, I don't know about everybody, but our mothers are our best friend, our greatest supporter, our prayer Thanks, warriors. Boy. Huh? They supposed to. they supposed to be, but we know. I know my mom is not perfect, and we bump heads. But I do respect her because she was a praying woman. I respect her sacrifices that she made, and I love her dearly. But no, we don't have the best of best relationships. But from the way him and his mother might have been, they probably had that close bond. Absolutely. So for a man to lose his mother, his best friend, mm -hmm. you can tell. That did something to him mm -hmm. mentally. Mm -hmm. And if you're not receiving counseling, grief counseling, no one knows what he went through for that period of time. Because from the losses I experienced, Ew, okay. people really thought Shamika was in her right mind, and I wasn't. And I never received counseling. And I was just functioning. I was just functioning mm -hmm. real. I really wasn't living. I was just functioning. Yeah. You know, but when I finally got my breakthrough, when God finally, you know, came through with that breakthrough with me to restore my mind, because it was times I would just get in my car and just drive around. I was lost. Mm -hmm. I, at points, I didn't want to eat. I, I didn't want to cook. Uh, and I'm still trying to learn how to cook because it's hard when you're cooking for you and two of your daughters to having mm -hmm. to now cook for one. Yeah. So no one knows what a person go through mm -hmm. mentally. And being as though he was this figure, you know, so people expecting him to be a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. But, you know, even with his music, a lot of people have a hard time when artists is transition mm -hmm. to a different type of music definitely agree and that's how they're feeling at the time but because we get used to one thing that's what we expect all the time but when they're trying to evolve to another level yeah then they want to switch it up some yeah and i and i like it i i, I do and and i can i can relate because my dad passed away when i was 19 mm -hmm. and it's been 20 years and it still hurts just the same as it right. you know what i'm saying like it still feels like it just happened even when i look at his pictures i still mm -hmm. feel like i'm still that same 19 year old little girl and even though um like you know with his job what he did he was um he was a firefighter he was like a, a arson investigator so mm -hmm. when the call went out about him he was at the house but when the ambulance you know made the call into the hospital da, 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 they were able to connect you know because they have the scanners right and it was him so the the fire chief and the, the fire department they kind of if they didn't beat us to the hospital they definitely were there and i can just <clears> remember <throat> being in the hallway they were in the hallway. Right. And not that we didn't appreciate them, but we didn't get that private grieving time. You know, because even they, they were all there at the hospital. When we left the hospital, they were, you know, people were coming by our house that same night. Like, we didn't go home to an empty house. We went home without my dad, but we didn't go home to an empty house because all these people were showing up at the door and you didn't never get to just go somewhere and have that good, ugly cry. So 20 years later, you know, I still have that good, ugly cry because it'd be questions I want to ask him and things I want to share with him. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I know that I can and I know that he can hear me and his heavenly spirit can hear me. It's just sometimes you just want to hear his voice back. Now I mean, I ain't going to yeah. lie. If he said something to me, that would scare the <laughs> shit out of me. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. It would scare the shit out of me, and I would probably go flying out the house. I know sometimes we be saying, I just want to hear his voice one more time. I didn't want him just to hug me one more time. But do you really? Because are you really no, like you get freaked out a I bit? don't. Listen, I would get freaked I out. I don't. So. I I'm telling you, it was times that I dreamed about my daughter. Yeah. And I would wake up scared because it was like. So real, right? So real. Right. So I'm like, wait a minute. I had a dream. Wait. Time, and my daddy told me, and it, it was like after he passed away, and I had a dream. I swear to God, just like you said, it was real. He told me to go clean my car. He said, get out there and clean that car out. 
And I bet I got my ass up out of my sleep and went to go clean my car out. And I was like, oh, my God, that was, oh, Jesus, help me, you know. But JoJo, who nay? That was some scary stuff right okay. there. Listen, I don't play them games. Ooh, All right. Drake. Drizzy, Drizzy. Okay, so here's the thing. Drake and Kanye, they've been into it all week. Kanye really been into it with everybody. You know, from this Soulja is Boy to this Chris is Brown. This is Kanye. You know, everybody this is This typical mad. Kanye. Well, you know, they're mad because their verses got taken off of his songs. But here's the thing. Chris Brown called him a whole hole. Soldier Boy said something else. And it's just like, oh my well, God. Well, they're saying now that him and Chris Brown have aired out their differences. Okay, that's good. But him and Drake is into it right now. Kanye got a song. <laughs> Kanye has a song on his album where he's talking about, you know, somebody rapping like him and sounding like him and blah, 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 blah. Now, I don't know if this is a publicity stunt because both of them were, you know, dropping their albums right around the mm -hmm. same time. But I was shocked because I was like, wait a minute, Drake and Kanye got a couple of songs together. That was cool. So what the hell is going on? But Drake is playing no games. Drake is dropping CLB probably in a few minutes if it ain't already dropped. Wow. It stands for a certified lover boy. That is what CLB uh, mm. stands for. And Drake is not playing no games with the marketing. Baby, Drake is buying billboards. Drake is putting billboards Drake, come out. buy me a billboard, please. Drake is putting billboards Drake. out, letting people know, hey, he, he put one out saying, you know, 21 Savage he, in Atlanta. You know, 21 Savage, the ba uh, Lil Baby, and two other people from Atlanta mm -hmm. are on the album. Okay. And he put anybody, like, say if you lived in Memphis, he put one in Memphis for whoever's from Memphis on there. Houston, he just put the GOAT is on there. Now, when I think about Houston and the GOAT, like, right now... I'm thinking either Beyonce or Meg Thee Stallion. And I'm probably leaning two. towards Meg Thee Stallion because... One of the two. I don't, you know, I, mm, mm. I'm i just saying. We we going to see, but I'm pretty sure it's probably Meg Thee Stallion. Who else in Houston? Now, you know everybody want to hear Meg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so learning how we, to drop we, it like me. We finna see, girl. You gotta have some special skills <laughs> to drop it like me. I'm big. just joking. So Drake's marketing. Drake, I feel you on that billboard thing. Shout out to um, shout out to Mike who did my billboard out in Memphis on Bill Street for my Lux Mirage. Listen, them billboards, they get to be a little addictive, but Drake buying them all over the place. Drake, let me get some of that money, because they ain't cheap, That's Drake. What saying. Can you buy Drake, me a billboard, buy Drake? Buy me a billboard, Drake. 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 Call, Drake just call me and Mo. Billboard. Call Shamika and Mo, because we need a billboard. I'll take a little box truck. Okay. With, you know. Something. Just. I'll learn how to work the electronics and the graphics, Drake. Drake, get at me. Let me know. What's up? What's good? Mm. Who's next? Waiting on that Drake album. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, Lord. Wait a minute. Who is this? All right. Lil Nas. Somebody else finna drop an album. Oh, my goodness. Lil Nas X. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. Lil Nas Lil X has posted. What am I... I, what Look, is it? Run it back, JoJo. <laughs> Lil Nas X has posted maternity pictures, everyone. He is letting the world know that September 17th, he will be giving birth. Yeah. Birth okay. to what? His album. He is dropping okay. his album. What is it? Montero, Montserrat, whatever it is. Montero, Muchacho. Montero. Yeah, Montero. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. It will be dropping. Montero, Terio, yeah, whatever. Yeah, Terio, sound like that. He will be dropping that September mm. the 17th, and he. Lil Nas, please go sit down. Please go sit down. That, you I, you have made your statement. He's not done. He is not done. He is not done. That's why I don't even have anything else to say other than that's that's what the picture was for. He's giving Lil birth Nas, to Nas, you have made your statement. We understand, sugar. We know you was upset because people did not accept you. They might have said some hurtful things to you. I just miss. I'm going to leave it alone now. Old Town Cowboy or whatever that song oh. was. Because this other shit is just... This it. is a rebellious 
phase this he's going shit. through. This is really a rebellious phase that he's going through. He's getting out his hurt. He's getting out his anger. Um, I guess because he hid for a period of time to he's tired of hiding. He's tired of what people are saying. But this is just, I, I, well, I can't tell nobody how to express themselves. But some things go just a little too far. That's mm. definitely, I, that's all I'm say. Whatever. Because I, I don't want to get in trouble because of little Nas. I, I don't either. All right. So we have to definitely send our thoughts and prayers to Oh, Lee my Lee. goodness. That is so Her heartbreaking. Greg Leakes passed away yesterday at the age of 66. Guys, yes, I know his name is spelled with two Gs. I accidentally spelled it wrong. I was rushing. I, you know, I'll be trying to blog on the go. Charge it to my head, not to mm. my heart. Uh, definitely want to send our thoughts and prayers to mm -hmm. Nene Leakes. Um, she just made a, um, well, she, she got up in the, the lounge. You've been to the lounge. You've been to Nene Leakes. Oh, lounge, yes. Right? I um, surely she have. Was, she made an announcement in the lounge Sunday because someone made the comment that she was being rude. But she was just pretty much like, you know, my husband's at home losing his life. He could go any day now. And it's not that I'm trying to be rude. You know, people just be having other shit on their mind. And right. And very true. You know. Um, and no one knew what she was going through at the time. No. Uh I'm sure she wasn't intentionally, like we know, was being rude. It just no one knew what she was facing and what she was going through until she spoke out about it. Mm -hmm. You know, we're truly going to miss Greg. I love Greg. I love seeing him on the show because Greg was really the laid back one. Yeah, yeah. Greg, Greg didn't say nothing unless he had to. Yeah. But other than that, Greg was calm. Greg was laid back. Nene... You know, this is what it is, and, and this is what you get. And you know what's crazy? You and I had this conversation today because I was I was telling mm -hmm. um I shared a little bit about it on Facebook and I think Instagram. So Sunday, I went and I had my second COVID um, vaccine. Mm -hmm. I had the second dose of my COVID vaccine, and at like five or six o'clock that night, my arm started hurting, and it was hurting really bad. And I was like, oh, my God, well, this is normal because this is what happened the first time. But mm -hmm. as the night got, it got late on in the night and the temp started dropping, it just got worse. Well, I felt like my damn arm was just dangling at a certain point. Ooh, me and too. when I woke up the next morning, everything was off the chart. Everything was off the chart. I could not move. I, I still can barely move my arm. My arm still hurts right here. So you I can only go I can thing? only go yeah. Ooh, I can only go my, up about my there. Will stiffen up on me. My was too. And I, I had chills. I was weak. I could barely I don't, walk. I don't I go had through all of that, but I headache. go through my arm hurt. Oh, though. no. I had a terrible headache. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was quivering and shaking when I was calling my family and talking to my family. I was like, <laughs> and they was like, what the hell wrong with you? I was like, I don't know. You know, it was it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. And so, you know, for, for me, um, I'm still not 110%, but, you know, this is my show. I'm mm. on the flyer. Who else is going to do this thing? So I still got to come. But for me, they're saying that there's no strand of the COVID in the in the COVID vaccine. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I don't believe that you shit. You know that's I a lie. I do not believe that shit at all. It is something in that. I'm not telling you, you, you know, do take you know, even when we, still. even when we, get the flu shot right. which i haven't had one in a minute but even when we get the flu shot that's a virus that they're injecting into you to, to fight, fight it off. to yeah. fight it off you may get sick at first but after that you're all right so right. it's a virus really in your system to right. help fight against the actual virus right so and i i you just, know i'm not telling nobody not to get it i'm just telling y'all it affects everybody different. Well, did you hear TikTok, I think, put it out there that um, a lot of insurance companies, um, they're not paying. Now, this was on TikTok. Don't quote me. But someone did put it on TikTok. Said some insurance companies, if people had gotten the vaccine, was not paying for the funerals. So I need to investigate that a little further. If people die from COVID, they're not paying for the 
Right. If, if they had the vet, vaccine, the That's vaccination, crazy. they're not paying for the funeral. I need to investigate hey, that friend. a little further. Hey, Fred. What's up, girl? You know, I'm always supporting you, Mom. <laughs> hey, Fred. How you doing? I'm doing fine, girl. Fred, have you, have you had the COVID vaccine, Fred? No. Are you are you thinking about getting it or you're not gonna get it? I'm not gonna get it. What's your birthday, but most certainly celebrate you guys with that. In November. <laughs> your birthday, November. Okay, okay, what's up? You got plenty of time to plan for my party, Fred. Yes, ma'am, girl. I would love it. You Fred, go now. Always call in. Okay. What? What you say, Fred? I said, you don't do no clubbing. You know that, girl. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't do no clubbing, Fred. I get pissed off because you go in there. They have the smoke machines on. They have the mm. music too loud. It's just be too much going on. I think sometimes yeah. some people realize when they do see us in those uh, environments, a lot of time we're out, you know, supporting people like our friend mm -hmm. Rozzy. Uh, we're just out supporting people. Not that we actually go there, the but club, yeah. a lot of time we'll get invited to watch their shows. Yeah. So being as though we are friends, we gonna go and, and, and show our support. Fred, what you over there doing? Sound like you got company, Fred. Fred, you got company? No, man, I'm just watching you, girl. You know, I love watching your show, girl. You know, you, 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 you know what you're talking about, girl. You know what you're talking about, girl. That's good, man. Okay, Fred, we're going to get back to moments with Mo. Yeah, that's right, girl. Love watching you, man. You, you have to be smart, girl. Aw, uh, thank you, Fred. All right. Bye, Fred. Bye-bye. All right, JoJo, who next? Oh, that's it? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Damn. Okay, so. <laughs> well, let's right. talk about well, it. Well, let's get into my interview. Shamika. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so Shamika, first of all, I just want to thank you for being so awesome. You are very supportive. Like you just mentioned, you do show up to everything. You do support everything. Um, I had a couple of brand ambassadors that I recruited, and you were one of the few that actually held your end of the bargain for the contract. You actually, oh, yes. you know, support and all this and all that. So definitely gonna um, send you out new merch. I can't wait to see the new Ooh, packaging. You know, I bought some of the stuff. merchandise. Oh, you, you I, I, I need the, to you show them. My merch. Look, let me show. The, first oh. of all, this is not her bag, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, she brought some of my merch. Uh, shit. I, I, Listen, I you know, I got my different Aww. lipsticks. You know, it's nothing in here right now, but Your it was lashes. my lashes. Yeah. You know, so, uh, yes. You know those lipsticks. Those I keep I keep the business cards Aww. in case anybody, you know, want to know how to purchase Shemika, items. Shemika, when I first gave you that card. Oh, yeah. And you called me. You mm -hmm. like, Mo, you left your debit card. Look, <laughs> Oh, I wish you could see the eyeshadow. You know, if people oh. look at some of my photos. So how um, do you like the lipstick? Because you bought the, you you got the um, Bobby Jean collection. That's named after mm. my grandma. I got to make sure I get get her some of her. I absolutely love it. You do? You know, because I love to make my lips shine. Aw, that's awesome. My grandma was so excited when I decided. Just don't so, come kiss it off. But. So mm -hmm. here's the thing. I ended up dead. The ones that you have with the bow is mm -hmm. called the Bobby Jean Collection. That I named it after my grandma. But the reason why is because my grandma, um, I was always with my grandma for some reason. And we were always Wait. at the mall. And she loved Fashion Fair. So, you know, do you remember Fashion Fair? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, Fashion Fair was one of the first um, black makeup companies. And oh wow she was always at the fashion fair counter they were always giving her free samples free makeup free lipstick free this free that so when i thought i love my grandma my grandma is hilarious i'm gonna tell y'all this story my grandma's going to kick my ass when oh, i tell y'all this Mom. story what they haven't seen the beautiful eyeliner the eyeliner, eyeliner glue yeah let me show you you it put your so... lashes on with that mm -hmm. do you put your lashes on with that yes how long do you I let mean, it? I have this on, but I also have the uh, the one that you can use for the magnetic mm. lashes. Mm -hmm. They say you can use that one. I don't know because well, I don't have. I don't know because I, I be I use both. Yeah, I use both because I want to ensure my lashes are staying on. She got the whole bag. Uh, yes. She got the whole bag. Look, I have my um. 
I actually have the eyeshadows because you know I have yes the different eyeshadow palettes. I actually had them out in in the car. Oh, Shamika is but, a um, roller. You know, I feel when you say you want to be an ambassador to somebody's brand, yeah. a lot of people don't understand, first of all, we are friends. Second of all, when you posted about the ambassador, uh, I did sign up for it. Yeah. So to be an ambassador, you have to market. You have to market you know, the brand, you have to market the item, you have to wear the items. Um, so I know I wear two different items because I do sell Mary Kay, mm -hmm. but I love your brand and their brand. Mm -hmm. But I'm not an ambassador for Mary Kay, I'm just the right. independent yeah, consultant, right. but I am an ambassador for your brand. And how can you ask to be something and not support? That's true. I, I really have no understanding. It's just not about receiving the free items in which, you know, you send out because we receive not only the makeup. I love the house shoes, the little colorful bell, the rainbow. You do have that. Folks, have you fell in them yet? No. <laughs> but people, so people, laugh, people laugh at me and say, not you and the bears. So the reason yes. I'm asking her that is it's, it's, it's nothing wrong with the shoe guys. I didn't mean it to come out like that. But the thing is, it's shaped like a bear. So it's it's the whole body of a bear. And I was just wondering if she ever tripped over I the I just head. had to kind of stretch it some because I what? have like a wide feet. Oh, okay. So stretch it out, not up. Yeah, so gotcha. I be it took me a minute to kind of get Bring my little in. fat feet. Aren't they comfortable? They're <laughs> but so they cool. are so comfortable. They are beautiful, even with the wow. purses in which you give out. You know, I love my little bear to that purse. I need me another. Oh one. God, you can have uh, me and my bear. You can, you can have all uh, them so there. when people saw me with the colorful bag. Mm -hmm. They love the rainbow colors. <laughs> and I do too. They love the rainbow colors. And even with the headband in which you gave, the bracelet, the uh, sunglasses, Jesus, we get, we receive some beautiful gifts. So to me, I would take it offensively. If someone asks to be an ambassador for my brand, you're receiving these free items in which she give, which are lovely items. Even the lip glosses. Uh-uh-uh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. Face. No, honey. There was somebody calling. My Mary Kay show was over yesterday. Hit me, inbox me if you want to buy some face. items. But, uh, you know, I would take it offensively if somebody asked to be an ambassador. I'm taking out my time because no one knows what you go through to even, you know, get these items to have them shipped to you. And then you have to take the boxes, put them together, and then be able to oh, see, ship them to us. Oh, my God. It, she's a beast part. behind the scene. And I love it because when you're around such people like, you know, not only her, uh, Johnny Cabell, Rozzy, different people I've been around. What? Okay, we are those yes. But when you have been around people that are very influential, you know, you see the hustle, you see the grind, you see the hard work and what it takes. It's mm -hmm. not easy mm -hmm. like people think it is. It's not easy mm -hmm. work. But, you know, they continuously motivate me because, uh -huh. you know, I have a T-shirt, like I said, line that I'm waiting to bring out. Hopefully I could get it out this month, which I showed you the design. This no, you didn't. Oh, I did. I got to show it to you. We talk, remember um, we talked about it. Yes, yesterday. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay. It's called "What Is a Mom?" Master of Many, and what that is represent. My sister, late sister, came up with the idea, the design, and everything. She did not bring it to fruition. So, so when you're it came, so yes, okay. she did not even have the shirt made. Okay. So I have made an LLC. Mm -hmm. I had my mom a shirt made. I had me two shirts made. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm getting some more made. When I get one, I'm going to give you one. And 
I'm doing that for people because people don't know my sister was diagnosed with colon cancer. The colon cancer did not take her out. It was the two heart attacks she suffered in the hospital right. uh, because a lot of fluid had built up on her. Right. But masters of many, we are masters of many as mother because we wear so many hats. You know, we have to do I so much. People don't, people don't understand what a mother, we didn't understand what, I didn't understand what my mother went through. I could see some of the hardships, especially working at General Motors at the time that she worked, and you don't know you had racial people there. And it was said that one day, you know how the car is going on the line, the assembly line, mm -hmm. someone had put a fake snake in the car. Now, that could have caused my mom to have a heart attack. Yeah. And they had, you know, women and men had to stand up on that line. And if someone didn't come relieve you to go to the, take your little break, toiletry break, mm -hmm. you had to stand there. Even though Jim Motor paid good money, yeah. good and benefits, good union. Yeah. But it's what you had to go through for that job. And she went through it for 27 years until she retired up under the medical plan. And you know, so. I told my mom. I, I was telling my mom because she worked in a she, she worked for planners, mm -hmm. peanuts, mm -hmm. right? So I was telling her like on so many of my jobs that I've had, I have gotten a lot of slack for the way that I dress and the way that I look because I was always taught to dress for the job that you want, not exactly. necessarily the job that you have. Exactly. So even though I would see the CEOs and the supervisors dressing their little suits and their heels, nice slick back hair and nice hair, whatever, put together, I was like, oh, I'm going to come to work put together too. You know, mm -hmm. just because they, they don't make y'all better than me. I, just because I'm sitting over here and you behind that door over there, they don't make you better than me. But I used to tell my mom all the time because I feel like she got hated on. Because I would watch her, you know, she worked third shift. I would watch her get up for work. And mm -hmm. she wore a uniform, but you could still see her shape through her uniform. But she would still do her, her makeup. Right. And she wore a hairnet. And she put on her little lipstick or whatever. And it was like, it's insane. I was like, mom, it's crazy that you had to go through that. And you weren't even wearing no clothes. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? No clothes and no heels for nobody to be like, ooh, she thinks she's cute. She thinks she all that. Like, when did be taking pride in yourself become, why it's got to be all that? Why you can't just take pride in You know, we went through something and so did my mom. Um... You know, my mom was a country girl. That, that's why I tell people she doesn't have the country accent. I do. Um, <laughs> I do, too. I, 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 do I, too. I have it real bad. My, I'm, I'm hood but, country, um, so. But just to hear the struggles that they went through, you know, coming up, mm -hmm. only having two pair of shoes, p having to pass clothes down, the miles they had to walk to school. And my great grandmother, you know, she was a, one of the nurses. Uh, she took care of the other people, color babies. Um, you know, she t used to take us with her to the little Baptist church across the street from her house. And uh, we used to help her clean the church pews and everything. So, uh, like I said, what is a mom is just as us as mothers as a whole. I'm also gearing it toward, you know, the women that have had different cancers because we know it's breast cancer, we know it's colon cancer, we know it's pancreatic cancer. I did do the breast cancer walk. I did do the undy uh, walk one year. I participated in that for colon didn't cancer. Did you say you got another walk coming up? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, yes. We, uh, it's another walk. It's not mine, but because I wrote for my, my sister, another longtime sister, her name is Sathya Callender, and she is the author of this lovely magazine, Scars of Survival. And one of my articles is in here. I wrote five different articles, five different months. I'm getting ready to do another article in December. Uh, but she, we last year, we did the walk up Stone Mountain because I am a domestic violence survivor, and this is what Scars of Survival is all about. Because it's not, it was not just geared toward us as women, because it's men also that has also been abused. So some men did, you know, write articles, some children about different. Uh, account things because it's not just physical you watch some kids have watched yeah. some people die in front of them one one person had a sibling that was killed right in front of them mm -hmm. 
But last year, uh, and we was with Tanasha Gray and Antheon Denard, they came out and we did the walk up Stone Mountain. And that walk was symbolizing, you know, we are survivors, we are overcomers. So this October 31st, we are walking the mountain again. Oh, I need to get in shape because I'm telling you, if it wasn't for people just you know, encouraging me to go up that mountain. Man. I was ready to stop. I was ready to cry. But I, when I finally made it, I was like, thank you, Lord. <laughs> but I tell you. I've I'm, never gotten up Stone Mountain. I might have walked up it, but I rode. I've that never <laughs> made it past the little trees at the bottom of Stone Mountain. Oh, my God, that walk. For people that have have, right now. have been walking it, it's easy for them. Now, Ooh, it's challenging. I know you invited me. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all know I love Peanut. Peanut pulled some bullshit on me today. Peanut got off his leash. His neck slid through the collar of his leash today. Ooh. And he took a 20-minute stroll through the neighborhood. Okay? I had plans to walk Peanut in the wagon. I was going to put him in the wagon. I was going to let him go take the scenic route but he wanted to do his own thing so as i'm pulling the wagon with the little dog in it he running beside me like taunting me like yeah nigga you can't catch me it was terrible so even though i might not come to that that walk i might need to start training at stone mountain so i can catch my dog at least and but if anybody want to take this walk with us because a lot of people uh took the walk with us last year i was happy to post pictures um, we have people coming from all out of town just as we did last year. You could go to Eventbrite. You could top, type in Stone Mountain and you will see Scars of Survival Magazine, LLC. And you could register for the event. I think it was like maybe $28 because this year we are getting a shirt. So I'm telling you, come out support because... So it's somebody in everybody's family that have had somebody that has been abused. They have lost a loved one. Mm -hmm. They has gone through some things. Absolutely. So if you have survived, because there are some people that have not survived. Mm -hmm. So if you have survived, we are survivors. We are no longer victims. But the victim to me, and this just my opinion, the victim to me is the one that is no longer here to tell the story. But for those of us that are here, we are survivors because we survived. So just come out and take this walk with us. I mean, it's just not for us, anybody. Stretch first. Stretch first. Get your exercise get you some in. Water. Oh, if you haven't taken this walk, please get your exercise in. I'm trying to get mine in now. I'm trying to strengthen up my ankle because I sprung my ankle not too long ago. So, come on, take that walk with us. Well, Shamika, I think we're going to get kicked out. So, tell everybody. Oh, in case you guys want to know, um, this cute little clutch bag right here, it came from my online boutique, Lux Mirage. So, make sure you check that out www.luxmirage.com Shamika has brought me some goodies Oh yes, I brought my sister some goodies from Mary Kay I like goodies Yes, especially our satin hands collection And it's just not only for women, it's for men as well So how can they, because um, I know with Mary Kay y'all have like special links or whatever So how yes. can they directly You got perfume in there oh, and everything I like perfume. They can find me on Mary Kay at www.mary K for Mary Kay.com. Let me go back over www.marykay.com forward slash Miss M S dot C H A P P L E. Oh, I like this. I'm hey, this. yes. Oh, now I that like right this. there. It's the water this base. This is your yeah. yeah We're gonna so have to talk about. It. We finna get ready to go, y'all. But y'all make sure y'all follow me at the so post up. Oh, white. oh yeah. Listen, Rozzy, my homeboy, doing my theme song. He got an all white party with Sunday. Is it Sunday or Saturday? No, it's tomorrow. Saturday. Friday, yes, it's oh, tomorrow. Yeah, okay, so Rossi's doing his last all white party. Where is it at? Door 54, Door 54 Atlanta. 10 o'clock p.m. Go 
to know, Eventbrite and register for yeah, that event as well because you do events. have to purchase tickets. You do have to purchase tickets. I have mine because I'm going to support. Hey, so hashtag make Team sure Rosie. You guys are following the post up. That's D A P O S T U P. You can follow me at Miss Mo Clark on IG as well. It's going to be Christmas time. Make sure you follow Jack Global Vision TV Status Network. I will see you guys next Thursday. I don't know who coming. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm not sure, but I'm sure we gonna have fun, and we finna get out of here. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Post it up like a palm tree in the tropic. Rozzy on the beat, make you wanna come and see. Mo to the C, radio to TV. You know she putting in work like she clocked in. Celebrity guest, never guess who gon' drop in. Television's best, like a S on the chest. Who's next? Say less, cause you rocking with you rocking with the best. Yeah, Mo Clark, with the poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you tell me?